When starting on a new design, the first step will usually be to sketch a 2D shape. This shape will ultimately be developed into a 3D model. In the toolbar, you will see that the sketch tools are grouped together, and within the sketch tools section, the ones to the left are creation tools, and the ones to the right are for modifying. Let's start by sketching a rectangle. Notice that when sketching, you will be offered relevant tool guides in the design window, as well as options in the panel to the left. For example, you can select to create a rectangle from its centre, instead of pulling it from one corner to another. When creating the shape, you will see the dimensions. You can simply drag to a size, or set these by typing in values and tabbing to move between the two axes. When you are happy, just press Enter to set the shape and Escape to end sketching. You will see the lines you just created now appear in the structure tree on the left. Also, as you hover the cursor over parts of the sketch, you will see that as well as snapping to the grid, the snap feature will snap to lines, midpoints and endpoints. You may find sketching easier when looking at the grid face on. To achieve this, simply click on Plan View, either in the top toolbar or the mini sketch toolbar at the bottom of the screen. Let's now add a circle. Once again, click and drag to create it, and then you can choose to enter a dimension. If we add another circle, you will see that the software will indicate when the two circles are the same diameter, allowing you to choose that size. Press Escape to end sketching, or just go to Select Mode. Now we'll create a rectangle. Notice how a guideline is offered to allow you to create a square if you wish. As before, you can drag the rectangle to size, or you can type and tab to enter dimensions. Don't worry about overlaying one line with another. This won't cause a problem. If we now add a similar rectangle on the other side of the sketch, you will see that the software indicates when the two shapes are the same height. This can be helpful for accurate sketching. For symmetrical designing, however, there is another useful method. If we add a construction line vertically between midpoints, we can right click and make it into a mirror line. While this mirror line is active, anything we sketch on one side of the shape will appear automatically on the other side. Now as we modify the sketch, the changes will appear in both sides of the shape. We'll draw a line to alter the bottom corner of the sketch. Notice in the Option panel, lines can be drawn using either Polar or Cartesian methods. Simply select your preferred option before or during creation of the line. To finish the modification, let's trim away the lines we don't need. The Trim Lines tool is one of the sketch tools in the Modify section of the Sketch Toolbar area. Notice when in Trim mode that hovering over lines will show them as segmented, highlighting just the part of the line which will be trimmed. In Normal Select mode, the whole line will highlight when we hover over it. All the changes have now been applied to both sides of the sketch. If we want to resume designing without symmetry, just right-click the mirror line and turn it off. Any new features now added will appear only where they are drawn. If we add another circle, we can use another feature to help position it accurately. By hovering over a line, or in this case a curve point, and tapping the Shift key, dimensions from that point will be displayed meaning we can carefully control the placement of the new geometry. If we want to move a feature, such as the circle we just added, we can use Select 
to grab the center point and drag it to a new position. This is useful for creative work, but if accurate control is needed, it is better to use the Move tool. This tool is often used when developing 3D models, but is also useful for modifying sketches. Using the Move tool gives the option to define a dimension for the change in position. Using Control Select, we can move multiple features in this way. Bear in mind also that points and lines can be selected and moved too. Once you are happy with your 2D sketch, you can change to 3D mode. This can be done either using the Mode Select tool in the top toolbar, or by going to Pull Mode and pulling the shape up into a solid. Any closed boundary sketches will convert into surfaces which can be developed into 3D. If you have drawn lines which overlay each other, this will not cause a problem when switching from 2D sketch to 3D model. The new solid will ignore the duplication and the shape will form without a problem. The techniques covered here should give you enough awareness to get started with sketching.